Namaskar. Namaste. Welcome to yoga with the practice of Blue Crystal Knights. Let's get centered. Found some energy for the practice. Take Vishnu Mudra with your right hand. Yoginis, you're going to close off your left nostril. Ara, guys, close off right nostril. Closing eyes. Take a deep breath in. Close it off. Exhale down the opposite side, right side and guys, left and girls. Close off, inhaling opposite side again, this time visualizing bright green, traveling up the open side of the body. Close off, exhale dark blue down the opposite side. Keep it going. Girls practicing Surya Beta, guys Chandra Beta, bring bounce to the solar and lunar energies. The color green builds positivity for the practice, increasing dream recall, exhaling dark blue releases negativity, inhibitions, and holding patterns. Exhale, release the hand. Take a full deep breath in. Hold it in for a count of 20. Jaw and Dara. to remembrance of who you are as the dreamed being in the dream space. Set an intention to do the practice today from that awareness, unbound, unlimited, and free. Let our hearts and info blessings. Three ohms, one corner mantra. Take a deep breath in.
Pashyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 The presence of the one divine spirit that dwells within, we bow. Arise. Atta yoga stita stito. Arise for this yoga while I get the door for one last student. Greetings, yoga teacher. Namashibaya. Slide up maybe to that line. Yeah. <laughs> Draw into the center, engaging inner thighs, belly in, scoop tailbone, shoulders up and back, slide jawbone back, activate Ujjayi breath, breathing from the back of the throat, deep breath in, exhale, root down, releasing hands, inhale, stretch up, celebrating the freedom of the day, exhale, dive forward, inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step back into plank, hold plank. Spreading fingers wide, lean forward. Chaturanga, inhale, rise up, Brahabhujanga. Pausing at the peak, bend elbows, pull hands back, shoulders back, firing up the backs of the arms. And then lower down, push back, down dog. All right, my bad. Go ahead and slide all the way up to here. We got all this all this space for us. First dog with a crystal knight. Bend one knee at a time. Lengthen through calf muscles. Deepen the victorious breath. Right foot up to the front of the mat. Banarasana 2 for a deep lunge. So right foot up. Point it out to the right. Reach your hands in front of you. Elevating wrists and bridge top or fingertips. Bend elbows up. Connect to the back body. And then lower chest down towards the floor. Back leg straight and strong. Lifting left thigh up. Keep it squeezing into the center as you release tension in the outer right hip. Pushing down through your right heel. And then feel free to work ridge top, fingertip, or fist. Step back into plank. Take a vinyasa. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Second side, left foot up for the deep lunge. Step it up, point foot out to the left, reach your hands in front of you. Connect to the back body. Back body represents the universal, the larger flow of energy which guides the opening of the heart space. Step back, take a vinyasa. In Hatha Yoga, we create union balance for the body by merging solar and lunar energy channels, masculine and feminine energies, ascending, descending patterns, the infinite with the finite, the individual, the universal. Right foot up, Banarasana one, backtrack. Step right foot up, point foot out to the right, bring your right arm on the inside, arm straight, Elevating hands in reverse, ridge top, pulling arms and shoulders down the back, sweeping heart forward, pushing head back, curling in the upper back. You can also create a state of unity, totality of consciousness by merging who you are with, with the waking consciousness, with who you are in the dream space. Step back, take a vinyasa. To do that, you have to find your hands in the dream space. When you find your hands, that'll stabilize your consciousness and your dream body, allowing you to get lucid, conscious, to manifest any of your desires. Second side, left foot up, Banara one. Left foot out to the left, bring the arm on the inside, elevating wrists, connect to the back body, pushing head up, sweeping heart forward. 
find your hands. You have to cross train during the waking state. You have to tell yourself that you're dreaming. It's all a dream to look at your hands. Step back. Look at your hands. Center your awareness. It's all a dream. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Every time you look at your hands through practice today, tell yourself, it's all a dreaming to look at your hands, setting the intention to find your hands in the dream space. Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and finish it off. Vinarasana three. Right foot up. Point foot out to the right again, and then come on to your forearms. <clears throat> Get stronger. Shift around a little. You can shift to the left in a rotating left thigh and then lean to the right. Letting hips get heavy. And then step back. Take a vinyasa. Throughout the day, it's good to do reality checks. Look at your hand, the palm open, and try and pass your finger through the palm. When you're awake, you won't be able to do it, but when you're dreaming, you will be able to do it easily. Thus, it'll be an easy cue that you're dreaming in the dream space. Step left foot up, point foot out to the left, because your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's in a dream, because the same neural pathways are firing. That's why you can get confused in the dream, because your brain thinks it's so real. Shift to the right, inner rotate, squeeze it into the center, and then lean to the left. That's why if you ever find yourself questioning and you don't know the answer, then that also is a clear giveaway that you're in the dream space and that you should look at your hands and stabilize your consciousness. Step back, vinyasa. Three deep breaths. Keep arms and shoulders lifting, outer rotating, tops of the thighs inner rotating and rooting back. Let's go, go like this. Come on. Bend knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow. Midline, root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, samastitihi, pausing, turning back within, and back into remembrance of who you are as the dream being. Deep breath in. Exhale, root down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Take a vinyasa. Parsvakonasana, right foot up, back foot flat, belly in, scoop tailbone, deep and twist, left arm reaches, top arm behind the back, deep and twist, curl left shoulder back, push down through both feet, lift and reach, right arm straight ahead. For half warrior side angle, thumb and index finger together, linking om to the shri, the spiritual to the physical, the dreamer to the dreamed being. Deep breath in, exhale, release, step back, set your dream hands, take a vinyasa. Second side, left foot up, back foot flat. Belly in, scoop tailbone. Left knee centered over the ankle, pushing towards your left arm, lined with outer edge of the foot, and then take right arm behind the back. Deep and twist, and then push down, lift and reach. Deep 
breath in, exhale, release, step back, flow through. Right leg lifts, plank pose, push your head up, index knuckles down, lower halfway down, pause, push back strong, right foot up, warrior one pose, belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead, take your gaze up, pull arms and shoulders down the back and then open heart, take head back, following hands to the back of the room, keep pinky fingers pointing in, tops of the arms out are rotating, Heart lifting and reaching. One more strong breath. Bend right knee deep. Exhale, release. Step back. Flow through. Left leg lifts. Plank pose. Chianga. Push back strong, step it up. Belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead. Take your gaze up, squeeze arm muscles in, pull arm bones down the back, open heart. Push from hips to the back heel. Deep left knee bending deep. Exhale, release, vinyasa. Let's do another one. Atita Badahasta Vir Badra. Step right foot up to the front of the mat, clasping hands. Draw energy in, heart forward. Slide jawbone back. Take it all the way back. Lock it out. Full stretch. Keep your hands interdigitized, plank pose, don't go anywhere, keep your arms straight, lean forward, strengthen Udiana, round your lower back. All right, go ahead and clasp like this. Palms in, there you go. Oh, chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, rise up, hold it, hips down, shoulders back. You can keep your hands clasped or separate hands if you need to, flow back, and then second side, left foot up. Interlacing, draw in, slide back, take it all the way back, lock it out, full stretch from heart through hands. Keep hands in or digitize. Plank, hold it, don't go anywhere. Push down through your index knuckles, round your lower back, squeeze your rib cage in. Chaturanga. Inhale, rise up. Flow back. Fasi Stasana on the right. Side arm bounce pose. Pivot onto your right hand and the outer edge of your right foot. Stay with the breath. Optional bringing left foot up in the tree. They're reaching for the big toe. Step it back, Kamakara, wild thing. The tips high and curl. Switch. Take it up if you're going further. And then step it back. Vinyasa. Right foot to the front of the mat and 
pause, both hands to the top of the thigh. Coming back into remembrance. Who you are in the dream space. Suspending your awareness. Imagine that you're in a dream right now. Embrace the Leela. Squeeze in strong. Back foot flat. Warrior two pose. You wiggle left foot back. Ankles underneath your wrists. Lift your heart up and then turn your palms down. Gazing at your right middle finger. Hold it. Flatten your lower back. Tightening up your core. Side warrior. Left hand to the back leg. Resisting the arch in your back. Taking right arm up. And then you can bend the arm, hand behind the head, pushing head back. Lift right rib cage up, out of the hip. Bend your right knee deeper, extending energy to the front of the room. And then bow forward, go for the clasp, bounce that angle. Right arm under, left arm behind the back. Ekapada Kundanyasana 2 or Visama. You can change it up, working ridge stop, fist, or taking left forearm down. Just slide right leg out. Keep your shoulders level. Left arm lifting. Nice. Left foot up and pause. Crystal Knight, guided by the power of the eagle, of spirit's vision. Bowing forward, squeeze legs together. Back foot flat. Wiggle it back if you need more length. Outer rotate, lifting heart up. Strengthen core, belly in. Scoop tailbone. Bend left knee deeper. Keep it leaning to the left. Side wear, right hand to the back leg, left arm overhead. Resisting the urge to arch and disengage. Hold Udiana. Bow forward, Bada Parsva Kona. Go for the clasp. Kapadakundinya, both hands down, or forearm down. Take your time. Take it up. Wide leg stance, left foot up. Ardhamala to the right, bend your right knee, turn your left foot up. You can wrap and clasp if your right foot's flat. Or place your hands however you need to. Shift to the left, turn right foot up. Ardhamala two, shift to the right again. Kick your left leg behind you. Reach your right hand up for the outer edge of the foot. Bend your left elbow up, squeeze shoulder blades on the back, and then lower your heart down. Sit 
shift to the opposite side. That's good, Nikki. Just hold it there. Just bend your left leg. Just sink into it. You're good. Let your arm slide down the front of the leg. Like, you see how Astrid's arm's way in front of her left leg? Look at this gap. Like, your arm was here. Her arm's way in front of here, like four or five inches. Take your time and do it again. When you're ready, back to center. Go wide, go deep. That's right. And then bend your knee. Just sink into it. That's it. That's it. That's it. There it is. Boom. <laughs> Play your edge. Walk your hands back, forearms down, forehead down. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Heel toe in, bakasana. Hands wide. You can work fists or ridge top. After 10 breaths, Shirshasana 2. Mm -hmm. Optional headstand, vinyasa, and child's pose. down. Squeeze. Uh, in forearm stand, you want and headstand, super strong, and handstand. Where do you need to stand? Standing poses, you don't need to, because you have the weight of coming down. Gravity. Horses just scoop your tailbone. You know, hmm. Puppy pose, not necessary. Mm -hmm. Stay there if you want it. I'll make the rounds. Otherwise, towel off, shake it off, and then go to the wall. Oh. Somebody can come up here. Sadna, why don't you come in that corner? Why don't you, you go here, and then you can slide all the way down. All right. All right, here we go. Four minutes in handstand, four minutes in forearm stand, four minutes in headstand. If you need to modify that, you want to stay off your head, you can revisit handstand or forearm stand. If you reached your wall internally, <laughs> then you can just rest and be free to karate with your hips in the corner and your legs up.
Try and stay upside down as long as possible. Find your distance. Kicking up. If you want to walk up, you can walk your legs up from down dog. You can count every minute. I'll count off every minute. Wait for it. Measure thumb from pinky finger if you're kicking up. Allison, if you're going to do it without the wall, why don't you turn around and kick to the center of the room? You're going to what? Okay, just don't fall over into it and break my wall. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. If you're at the wall, you can take hips to the wall, chin to the chest, working back body strength first. And then when you get tired there, you can curl, taking hips off the wall and push your head up towards the wall. It's 30 seconds. If you can stay in this position with your hips on the wall and your chin to your chest, you should be able to do a five minute handstand easily. That's one. Visualize your hands in your mind's eye. Use the energy that you build through the handstand towards strengthening your intention to fi finding your hands in the dream space. Right now your consciousness is stabilized. It's fixated within space and time. 1.30, but when you go to sleep, that energy ball of awareness becomes dislodged and starts to bounce around inside your head. And you only get fragmented images of the dream or scattered chances to perceive through the dream, to realize that it's all Maya, it's all illusion created by your mind. Two minutes, halfway. That's why doing conscious dream work, Malam Yoga, Dream Yoga, is the most powerful platform for doing any kind of spiritual work on because it is a direct experience of a non-dual state of reality where your mind can perceive through the illusory nature and realize its own creation. Two thirty. We are one with our environment, but the ego creates separation. That's why when you're doing reality checks, you want to look around as if you are one with your environment, as if your mind was creating everything that you witness, and that you can change anything you want to with your mind. Three minutes. One more, make it count. Three thirty. Three, two, one, rest. Four minutes. Very nice. One minute rest.
Anybody like a block for forearm stand? I'll bring it to you. Blockage. Okay, get set. Forearm stands. Set, going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. Pose gets challenging. Tell yourself it's all a dream. Anything that you do in the dream space, if you do a handstand or a crazy back bend, it's three times energetically more powerful than if you were to do it physically because it's done purely mentally on an energetic conscious level instead of on the physical level. One minute. One thirty. Two. Two thirty. Last thirty seconds.
rest. That was one minute. It goes fast when you're down. Get set for a headstand. If you're sticking up, staying off head, do another handstand form stand or just throw your legs up the wall for Viparita Karani. Here we go, last four minutes. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. Which one are you going to do? Okay. Mm One. Three.
down four minutes stack fists up resting forehead on fists Ready, slide your mats back. That was fast. flat on the belly, one arm auspicious pose, rock over onto the right arm and shoulder, mm -hmm. Shift hips in. Switch sides. Back onto the belly, reach back for both feet for Dhanurasana bow pose. Hmm? You want to adjust me? Reach for the feet, kick back, fire thighs, arch up and lift. Hold on tight. Child's pose. Pigeon pose. Kapara Raja. Kapodasana. Wide side, left leg in and back. Walk hands back. Left hand curl. Reach for the back foot. Take it into a quad stretch. Kicking back. Pull it in. Trap it if you're in deep for a mermaid, Naskinia. Or you can strap it and take it all the way overhead.
When you're ready, fold forward. Stack face up, or bend elbows up. Vinyasa. Or step back and switch legs. Square it off. Keep knees pushing down. Legs squeezing in. Left hand front and center. Right hand back. Kick back, and then pull it in. Vinyasa. Ustrasana, camel pose. Widen hips back, and then draw belly in, scoop tailbone, curl. Then hell up, rest back, soup to vera. Rest here, take it into Kapotasana, hands overhead, sliding onto the top of the head, and then sliding in, grab your feet. Back up, vinyasa. Yes. 
here I'm sitting for half fish prep pose. Left leg straight, crossing right ankle over. Right hand back, elevating wrist, left arm up, twist to the right. Left leg straight, right leg across, train knee. Left leg straight is in not bent. There we go. Prep position. Inhale and twist, pull your foot across. Push your knee across for Ekapada Gomukha Paschimottanasana. Reaching for your left foot, pulling back on the foot. You're in the right place. Back up, optional vinyasa, or just switch legs. For half fish prep pose to the opposite side. Right leg straight, left ankle across. Or choke, right arm across. Twist, foot across, knee across, make it tight for one foot cow face, west side stretch. Or open up wide for Upavishta Konasana. Seated wide angle. Clear sitting bones, hamstrings. Activate legs, arching up, and then slowly fold forward. Slowly back up, pivot forward, or twist to the right, sorry, get ahead of the game. Left foot flex, left thigh engaged, pushing down strong. Inhale up and switch. Back to center, fold forward one more time, go a little wider, a little deeper, lift up and slide forward.
Back up, pivot forward, bending knees up. Flip hands, palms face out. Hook one elbow in, other elbow in, release jaw, slowly squeeze in. Slowly release, hands back, arch up, unhinge jaw. And come onto your back, rock around a little side to side. Ego crunches, right leg crosses over, left arm crosses under, right leg over, right arm under, sorry, I said it wrong, <laughs> right leg over, right arm under. <laughs> Open up, take hands to the back of the room, feet to the front of the room, exhale, squeeze in, squeezing legs together, arms together, go super strong for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Squeeze legs together, arms together, pushing elbow into the thigh, thigh into the elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Squeezing all air from the lungs. Push your lower back into the mat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Strong. Using spirits, vision. Inhale, open up. Squeeze in, give it five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open up, one more. Exhale, squeeze in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Go super hard, as hard as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Left leg over, left arm under. Inhale, open up, stretch out long. Exhale, squeeze in, squeezing out all of your doubts, fears, negativity. Inhale, open up to the positive and the good. Exhale, squeeze in, fusing the higher vibration. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Embrace the Leela. Your role in the divine play. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Last one. Make it count for 10, 9, 8, 7. Resist me. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And rest. Lift up for bridge pose. Banda Sharbanga. Rest. Urdva Dhanarasana. Hands over our head. Or you can repeat bridge pose if you need to. Hips up, chest up. 
Curl to the back of the room. Take it all the way up. Rest. Round two, back up. Take it up. This time lift heels, walk it in. Do some push-ups. Yeah, it's okay. No? Do Just come onto your head and do this. Bring your arms into your shoulder sockets and roll towards your nose. Sophia, did you do your back bend push ups? <laughs> Round three is optional from standing. If you want to do some drop backs. Or if you want to go up again from the floor for Dweepada Viparita, feel free. Shoulder stand when you're ready. If you want to walk down the wall, you can walk down the wall. But if you come under the head and just do like this shoulder, does it feel okay? <laughs> That's all you just do that and build strength until you can go up and then not feel it. And then like maybe try those. Um a little bit, but I'll let you do it on your first day back. <laughs> you can get around away with that when you're <laughs> practicing in the shower. Don't do drop backs in the shower. <laughs> you have a life insurance policy? <laughs> That's the worst place to practice that. <laughs> Shoulder stand. <laughs> You have, bat, you have mats down, like like a rubber thing? No. Oh, my God, girl. Oh my God. I slipped in the shower once and fell on my sacrum, oh. and it was out of alignment for like two or three years. <laughs> Nobody could put it back in place. All right, that's fine. Two lessons, too. Plow pose. Ear pressure pose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, fish pose, slowly unroll. Legs down, arch up. Lift legs, lift arms, Utanapada. And then release, slide out. Supta Padangustasana, right leg up. Clasping behind hamstrings. Kick away and resist. Arching. Mm 
Slowly bring it closer to the chest, keeping legs straight and strong. And then take it to the right, holding big toe or outer edge of the foot. Here you squeeze your glutes, coconut butt, that's right, tailbone up. Take it into the twist because you're not standing up and you don't have gravity coming down on you, which causes you to naturally engage your glutes. You don't need, you don't need to, you squeeze your glutes, yes, but you don't scoop your tailbone. No, just relax. Back up, switch. Resist, kick away, turning up strength, the top of the thigh. Slowly bring it closer. Take it to the left. Pick it up and across. Back up, happy baby. Keep going further, walk arms over the legs, feet to the head or behind the head. Ready, twist to the right, both knees across. Shabbat
stretching out with the breath. Arms long overhead. Roll to the right. Twist up. One last ohm and universal prayer. Deep breath in. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Nice practice, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Teacher training starting soon. As long as we rope in enough people. 300 starting on April 11th for sure. Sundays, 12th.